I'll see you on the other side. Oh, Horatio, you good, man? The word good has lost all meaning, my friend. Mm. Okay, you good? Mm. Did I forget to mention that these boomers had a little acid bath? Uh, Josh. It's okay, they're using hallucinogens in clinical trials for. Nice bees. Nice, nice bees. <laughs> Josh is feeling it. Okay, let's go find something for you to stare at. Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. You're not Ray. You were Ray, Raymond Kinney Ray. I, I still got your old hacker zines, man. I remember reading War Driver and gearing up my 10 speed, backpack with an antenna. Shit, I even used your old root kit, man. Fuckstead? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well, I assumed you were all just skitty pests. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your crew seems to have a lot of unfocused noise. You the leader? The fine world. <sighs> No, nah, man, it doesn't work like that. Dead sex got a rule. No personal armies, no leaders. Yeah. Well, FYI, I saw you leading out nah, there. Man, this is everything we're fighting against. The system back home is completely fucked. And any kid out there on the sand is gonna say the exact same fucking thing. Easy words, bro, easy words. All right. A few years ago, this broken-ass system marked me as a criminal risk. Linked me to some shit I didn't even do because it was probable. And now, with CTOS, it's everywhere. I mean, I, I can see it down to the... <laughs> the to the sub subliminal shit. You just multiply. Yeah, we have a tendency to do that. What you call subliminal... It's a bellwether, Marcus. You got a sharp eye, kid. But subliminal is passive. Bellwether program is control. It's like a Orwell Huxley double punch. Profile. Media manipulation, corporate collusion, consumerism, all driven by predictive algorithms. And now. It's setting up shop in the heart of the Silicon Valley. And somebody at Bloom's using CTOS to feed it data. You're recruiting. I'm aching. Aching to give Bloom a Swiss steel kick in the peanut sack. Now I can help you kids up your game. Help me slay the real Jabberwock. Walk with me, Marcus. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> shit. Whoa. Hey, Marcus, wake the fuck up. Let's what, go. man? Uh, I just spent the night in a pup tent next to a lady who was very nude and very tattooed. Oh, good for you, girl. No, you don't get it, man. She was the sons of Ragnarok bride. I got. We gotta go, man. We gotta fucking vamoose now. Come on. Sons are coming. Oh, God. Wow. So you said you guys fucked up. How bad is it? Yeah, we all at risk now because my name's got a red flag on it. Yeah, people are gonna start making the connections. Yeah, where the fuck is everyone? Is that all? It's enough. We talking about Bloom here. Hey, and you're talking to Bloom's public enemy number one, son? Yeah, I've been dodging those bastards for years. If you want, I could scrub you from the system. If you give me a couple hours. Just like that? Well, I might have to... Sacrifice a goat as part of my arcane ritual, but yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking for you all morning. Turns out Swelter Skelter doesn't have a lost and found. <laughs> nah, it's more of a finder's keeper's policy out there in the desert. What in the hell is he doing here? 
Yeah, Marcus, why did you invite this stranger into our house? Look, look, it just happened, all right? We were running from these bikers, right? And yeah. look, you know what? It doesn't even matter. He's cool. Oh, he's cool. Well, that's good. Because we usually discuss these things as a group. I know. It's my bad. But you met Ray already, right? I want to introduce you to Raymond Kinney. That's Raymond Kinney? I thought you'd be cleaner. Yeah, I get that a lot. Can I have a hug? Um, yeah, I have a two-second... <clears throat> I get this a lot, too. Can we keep him like a hacker in residence? Yeah, we could use his help. He should... He can, he, he can stay here, right? He should... He should stay here. Okay, fine. But if he fucks with any of us, I'm gonna pop his nuts like ripe grapes. Message received. Nice hat. Nice mask. Okay, we're good. You want a beer? Uh, yeah. I would love a beer. Or two. Oh, thank you. Grab the man some hardware, too. He's gonna teach us some magic. That's awesome that he back, he didn't finally get back in this game. I did the DLC for him in the first Watch Dogs, so cool to see him make a return like that. How much money do we have? I'm curious. 18k. Oh. It can be bought. I know that. I don't have enough money though. What I will probably wind up doing, uh, I like to save the little points or whatever until I actually need something. All right, what is this next mission we got? Something just popped up. Hey, Marcus. One of our followers went to eat off a host. Shit, my bad. All right, stop ignoring my emails. Hey, kid. Ready to change the world? I got some for you. Lip noodle. That being said, man, that was a really good mission. I don't know what it was, but they just did. They they knocked that one out of the park, man. Let me check and see what we got on the Dead Set app. All right, the online. Uh, where's the main one at? That's a side mission too, I guess. Okay. Oh, Lip Noodle's the main one. What the hell? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm already right here. Let's just go ahead and do this. Hey, yo, T-Bone, I'm ready, man. I'm pumped. No, seriously, activist mode, activate. Hey, man, how do we get Bloom? <laughs> Wait, hold on to your joystick, son. You kids are gonna need to work your way up to Bloom, even with me help. Bray, are you briefing him without me? We were supposed to do that together. Oh, uh, no, I just didn't want to trouble you. What trouble? No trouble. Come on, Marcus, let's brief. Okay. So, let's... let's look at the big shot data harvester. Our friends at Noodle. Now, every time you search for discount refrigerator or bulldozer porn, they learn more and more about you. Data profiling 101? Uh, right. But what you didn't know was that Bloom's already got their grubby paws all over that data. Oh, shit. Oh, this is good, Sitar. Noodle's data is just what Bloom needs to strengthen the bellwether. Dig their puppet strings in deeper. You know, if we could get a hold of this ammunition, we could take down a whole lot of different targets. I can help with that. You can't hack Noodle unless you get into the server farm. You can't get into the server farm without clearance. Hell, you can't even get on the grounds unless you're an employee there. Who the hell you think Rob Zombie over here gets his intel from? Tell me you got clearance. <laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to stay low-key right now. One of my leads is breathing down my neck. I bet you Marcus can pose as an employee. Oh, he could do more than pose as an employee, Sitara. 
Tell him what you told me, Horatio. Noodle buses. I snagged an exploit for credentials. I could get you to the buses. All you gotta do is drive it in. They'll think you're one of the bus drivers. Shit. Yo, let's roll, son. All right. Hey. <laughs> uh huh. Let's do this. Hey. All right, well, with that being said, man, I'm about to stop the video here. I uh, wanted to say thank you guys for all your support on this series so far. Uh, when we come back next time, I'm going to continue this little mission. This is just such a good-ass game. I, I don't know. I can't stop playing it. I want you guys to know that. Like, we're already halfway through this other one, too. What the hell? Going to the clothing store. That, that actually might be the full mission. Should I just go ahead and do it? Hang on. It'd be funny if that was all it was. I have to at least see. <laughs> That'd be funny. Surprisingly, I should have just like fast travel there. Most on clothing stores, you can just go right there to it. So, I was trying to get to the map, but I actually canceled that out. Whatever. Main operation. Ah, we can fast travel. Nice. Uh oh, here we go. Take the noodle bus. Oh god. I'm guessing this is it. Oh, there goes the noodle bus. Fuck, there it is. I gotta go chase it down. how you read that. I think we're going to one of the noodle buses. Not, we're not just going to take a random one. So I'm going to go here and make sure first. I figured I'd just go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm not sure how long these videos are. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Uh, getting over there. And I just hit the fence. Oh yeah, that worked. <laughs> Let's just do that then. Nice. Teammate is too far away, what the hell? It's like some old line shit all of a sudden. Alright, I think I'm good. I gotta climb through the top of this thing. I love it. Okay, what? You have to enter for oh okay. I was on the other side like there's a door over there, I forgot. I hadn't been on the bus in forever. Okay, now where's the GPS? Hey, sit, sit down. I got me. Come on. All right, just. All right, GPS. I don't know where the GPS is. Up, uh, up. Uh, got it. There you go. Okay. Why do I think this is about to be a fun mission? <laughs> I'm in a noodle bus. What could possibly go wrong? You know, considering the only reason I'm going ahead and just doing this uh, this mission or whatever, I, I, I might, it might even I, actually be a brand new video, I don't know yet, but it's like it's like halfway done after like the cutscene, which is kind of confusing. Hi, how you doing? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good hey, morning. how you doing? Good, Gary. Hey there. Hey.
San Francisco. Whatever happened to that series, Ben? I heard that the first Watch Dogs game was originally going to be like another driver game, but then they expanded on it. I don't know if that's true. Somebody at uh, the works on games at Square Enix actually told me that, even though it's not Ubisoft, it was uh, like insider type shit. But I don't know if that's uh, that's true or not. I'm actually curious. There's an article somewhere. Come on, man! Seriously. Hey there. We're just doing a full bus route in this video. And I'm loving it. The last, man, the last mission for some of the colors, everything, which is spectacular. Yes, the got it. This new sushi place is so not on the car. The soy sauce was so Oh shit! I gotta be careful, man. I might get hurt. You know, I'm starting to feel like uh, the way the story is going, it's just a lot more fun and colorful, man. Show, man, I'm scared, bro. What? What is it? Don't nobody look like us. Oh man, welcome to Silicon Valley. Hey, what do you call a black man surrounded by thousands of white people? What, Mr. President? Hey man, they see two of us together, they gonna think we plotting. We are plotting. Coffee? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, please help yourself to a pomegranate. There to die for. You're so great. Thank you so much. Okay, neato. Carlin. Brody. Big day today, huh? I'm excited. How about you? You know, you could just tell us what you've been up to, where you've been looking, who you've been just talking trying to. Trying to get coffee. You. What was that? Just trying to get a coffee. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm sure you'll be more forthcoming with HR. <laughs> Enjoy that coffee. Watch it! Are you new here? Yeah. Hmm. Punk could love to lay his ass out. I can't stand that mother... Hey, Becky. Gentlemen. 
It's been watching my ass since the day I got here. Now he's saying I should be more forthcoming with HR? You think he's got something on you? Damn it. Do you have any idea how much jail time I'd be looking at? If I can get into the server farms, I can delete all that shit, all right? We got your back. You're not going in jail. I'll be in touch. All right? All right. All right.